Patriots, it's Mrs. Hall. I am here to make a smoothie for you. Smoothies are a great breakfast or a really good snack that you can have um, while you're out playing. You might come in and need a little protein. And so this one has all of that for you. So the name of this smoothie is a oatmeal cookie smoothie and I really hope you'll enjoy it. So the first thing you need are old fashioned oats. Um, you could probably use quick oats if you want. I've never tried it. Um, but these are just a little bit bigger. So you need a fourth a cup of oats. And what you're gonna do is put the oats in a blender and you're gonna blend them up. Um, that's so the oats will get really ground up and fine. Um, you don't want like big chunks in your smoothie. So I'm gonna start the blender for just a second. It'll be loud, so just a second. So what happened is my oats went from really big pieces to like a fine oat powder and that's what you want them to look like, okay? So once your oats are ground up, you're gonna add everything else. And so the first thing you're gonna add is a banana. And I forgot to freeze my banana, but it really works if you could peel your banana um, a couple hours before you wanna make this or even overnight. Peel your banana and stick it in the freezer and that will help your um, smoothie get really creamy. So I'm putting in my frozen banana, and then you're going to add a cup of almond milk. And you can use whatever milk you want. I just happen to have almond milk in my fridge, so I'm gonna add a cup of almond milk. And pour it in. And the next ingredient you're going to add is um, a couple tablespoons of honey. So you can do one tablespoon or two tablespoons. It just depends on how sweet you want it. So I'm gonna add my honey in. And you can measure it out if you want, but honey gets so sticky in your spoon that sometimes I just um, pour it right into the blender. And then you're gonna add about a half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie seasoning. If you don't have pumpkin pie seasoning, it's made out of cinnamon, um, and ginger and a little bit of nutmeg. So if you don't have pumpkin pie seasoning, you can use cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg if you have those instead. And the last thing you're gonna add is about a half a teaspoon of vanilla. <clears throat> I think that's everything. I'm checking my recipe. Yeah, it looks like everything. So once you have all of the rest of your ingredients in, put the lid on your blender and blend it up, okay? And that's it. So the last thing you need is a cup to pour it in and a straw to drink it with. So let's see how it looks. Pour it out. And that makes one good serving um, if it's like a meal for you or you could pour it into two smaller glasses and share with your sibling or a friend or someone else that um, might be in your house. So that is my oatmeal cookie smoothie. I really hope that you will um, try it and let me know how you like it. Bye guys, miss you.